calls CIT 104. With this being said, let's hop straight into it. So I'm just going to switch this off. Okay. So we have CIT 104. I think my camera is too close. Take it back a bit. I think it's better this way. Okay. I think it's better this way. It was too close the other time. Good evening, Miss Rena. Okay, I'm just trying to set my camera up properly. Okay. That will be um, better now. Okay, let me see what it likes for me. Okay, I think it's better now so sorry about that that was a call that came in i think i'm not supposed to, i'm supposed to connect um connect the phone to my my fi uh using the day uh, my internet through the phone the internet was through the the internet is through the phone but connected to the my fi i think that would have happened sorry about that so today we're talking about language translators language translators language translators okay so before we go into the nitty-gritty of things uh let me just quickly go through uh comment section Okay, on the comment section, we have Miss Regina says, Good evening. Mr. Alfred says, Good evening, sir. Good evening. It's great to have you, Mr. Alfred. Miss Regina, it's great to have you on the stream tonight. Not bed of roasts is also said, Good evening, everyone. Good evening. You're welcome. Simisola says, Good evening, boss. Good evening. You're welcome. And we have Miss Rena. Good evening, sir. Okay, we all are welcome. Now let's um, go into things. Now, when we talk about language translator, what are we talking about? Why do we even have language translators? Now, talking about language translator, let's trace it down to having computers around us. How do we communicate with computer? Computers are not human, they are inanimate things, things that does not have life. How do we intend to communicate with this machine perfectly and they do what we want them to do? How do we intend to give instructions to computers and carry out the instructions that have been given to them by the user perfectly? And that is where language translation come in. We can also trace it to, you know, even among humans, you know, there are, there are thank, God to thank God for technology now. You know, there are days whereby any foreigner coming into a new place, they always hire a translator. So as they speak, and they will need to communicate definitely, as they speak, the translator who understands their language and understands the language of the indigenous people of the locals help them translate it's the same thing with computer too you don't understand the language of the computer and you want to give the computer some certain instructions to carry out for you so you need to definitely that's why we definitely have what we have today as language translators now let's go straight into it now a programming language is a set of notations in which we express our instruction to the computer you know there is something we have to definitely 
use to talk to our computer, which is the programming language. Programming language. Yes, the programming language. And this programming language is said to be a set of notations. A set of notations. A set of notations. Now, this set of notations, what do we, when we say notation, what are we talking about? Okay. Just a moment. Just a moment. I think I, my notes here, I think uh, there's something missing on this. Okay, uh, I think I kind of mixed something here up on my note. Okay, nevertheless, nevertheless, just a moment. Now, we are talking about programming language. And as I said earlier on, we need to communicate with our computer. And computer needs to understand what we are talking about in order for them to carry out instruction. And that is what gave rise to programming language. Programming language. And we say programming language is said to be a set of notations. Now, when we talk about set of notations, what are we referring to now? Now, a set of locution is said to be, just a moment. Okay. Now, notations, Notations are said to be mathematical. Basically, it just has to do with numerics. Set of numerics. You can use that. Let's just simplify it by saying numerics. Let's just use the word numerics. Set of notations. Numerics, you know, Mathematical formulas, you can also refer to it as mathematical formulas in which computer programmers use in analyzing data. But let's just use numerics for now. Okay. Now let's proceed. Now, it says a set of notations in which we express our instructions. To the computer you know let's not forget in one of our classes we said computer basically understand binary numbers that is their language binaries and we don't understand binaries but computer understand binaries so now let's relate that to this a set of notations you know in which we express our instructions to the computer in which We express our instruction to the computer. Programming language, set of notations. So when you come across a question like, dash is said to be a set of notation in which we express our instruction to the computer. We're talking about computer language. Now, there are three classes of language translators. Are we, are we together? There are three kinds of language translators. Now, basically, when we even talk about, you know, this is pro program, uh, programming language, set of notations. Now, talking about language translators, basically, what language translator 
does is that language translator helps to translate it's an intermediate language between the computer and the user or and the programmer computer language translator is said to be an intermediate language between the user and the computer and so these language translators we have them in three different types all right three different types first we have the assembler we have the assemblers now this is a computer program that accepts source program accepts source program after it accepts source program it reads and translates the entire program into an equivalent program in machine language called the object program or object code accept source program okay Now, just before we proceed, the material is just, just anti. I don't know where my material is just anti. Now, just before we proceed, let's take note of this, please. Now, let's take note of this. Before we come back to this, let's pay attention to this. Now, language translators language translators are said to be a set of notation series of written symbols okay let's just let's just erase this let's just erase this let's take it from the let's take it properly now language translators now they are said to be they are series language translators are series of set notations of set there are series of set notations and what are notations notations are a series or system of written a series or system of written symbols Now, a now set of notations, they are said to be a series or system of written symbols used to represent numbers, amount, elements in something such as mathematics or music. A series or system of written symbols used to represent, used to represent numbers amounts numbers amounts or elements or elements are we together language translators they are said to be series of set notations and notations are referred to as series or system written symbols used to represent number amount or elements you know which in which we express our instruction to the computer in which we express our instruction to the 
computer. Yes, that is what language translator. That is what language translation or language translators. This is what they are. Series of notations that we use in expressing our instructions to the computer. Now, at the initial stage of computer development programs were written in machine language. Now, early stage of computer. Early stage of computer. At the early stage of computer, programs were written in machine language. Programs were written in machine language, and machine language are written in binaries. Binaries, which are zero and one. You know, I said something like that at that time. So, in the early stage of computer, programs were written in machine language. And this machine language were written in binaries. They are the same thing as binaries. And it is a problem because we don't usually understand binary. So in order to make this easy for programmer, now come then language translators were introduced. Now we have now so We now have <clears throat> just before we move on, I want to quickly explain this to us. What is machine language? Now, what we talk about machine language, we said binary is fine. Now, machine language are also known as machine codes. Now, they are elemental languages of computer. It is read by computer central processing units. It is composed of digital binary numbers and look like a long sequence of zeros and one. Let me take that again. Machine language is also said to be machine code and it's also known as machine language. Now, is the... I think it's your network. Sorry about that. I think it's your network. Let me just let me write. Let me just write this down. Elemental. Elemental language of computer also known as machine code. Composed of digital composed of digital binary numbers. Digital, okay, digital binary composed of digital binary numbers that are long sequence of long sequence of one and zero. That's what machine like elemental language of computer. Elemental, you know, elemental like <laughs> like just like Elemental um, of to us now, elemental studies. Lang well, maybe when we are learning how to pronounce ABC. So it's a normal program language for computer, machine language. And it's composed of digital binary numbers. And it's said to be sequence of one and zero. So that is what uh, machine language is. And you know, we also said something about, we said something about source program. 
source program source tell us about source program okay so what are source programs source program are said to be an original computer program written by com a programmer that is converted into equivalent object program written in machine language by complier or assembler source program okay now let, let's just i think we'll meet source program in the front let's just give source program for now let's proceed so hopefully um our next class on this course will be rounding up everything on gsn yeah cit 104 so if you offer GST 103 or CIT 104, CIT 102, all these courses have similar modules. So you can still go through all these courses, their tutorials, they speak. I mean, this morning we talked about language translators already, GST 103. In the private class, we treated GST 103 this morning and we spoke about all these things basically. But one thing I don't realize that like this online is detailed compared to GST 103. So we have that as that. Now let's proceed. So we have the types of language translators. We have types. We have assembler. We have assembler. We have um, complier. We have com compilers, compiler, I beg your pardon, compilers. Before we have compiler, we have um, interpreters, interpreters. Now, there are three types. What does the assembler, what does it do? Now, the assembler is a computer program that accepts source program. Accepts source program. SP. It's a computer program that accepts source program in assembly language. I read it translate the entire program into a machine language i set source program then translate into machine language now let me show us what the source program looks like let me open my my browser an example of what's any difference between source code and source no, they are the same thing, sir. They are the same thing, sir. A program is also a code. It's a series of instructions. What is a code? A code is, an, is also a series of instructions. Now, I think I, I should be able to show us something here on my system about source code. Let me see how. Let me see. Can, okay, now I think we can see it. Now let me open a new page. Now let me enlarge. Let me make this bigger. Let me first see if it's here. Because, okay, let me let me go to Google. Okay, now let me open our portal. What's wrong with this one? Now let me open our portal. What was going on? I didn't say five, I said portal. I want to show us. Oh, Miss Regina, so sorry about that. I think you should switch to an Airtel line. Airtel is the best. I think you should switch to that. So sorry about that. Why is this way in fiber? I said now.
okay tv network is kind of bad this night i want to show us um yes so this is a website this is our portal our student portal so now i want to check because on the phone you can't see it so i want to check if if it's also on system we're talking about um, source program or source code now when you come let me see if i can enlarge this let me see if i can enlarge this just a moment let me see if i can enlarge enlarge my system okay now it's enlarged now at the, at this corner you see three ellipses it's called ellipses three dots when you click on it you there will be a list usually there's supposed to be something called source program here so let's check if you can find it okay let me check more tools whether to be under more tools okay let me see we have safe page new window performance tax manager developer 2 now let's see whether it's under developer 2 okay i'm not sure i can't find it here maybe i should try another another website whether i'll find it usually at the edge um, okay just a moment just a moment let me just bring my system down Just a moment. Don't figure it out right away. Okay, hey, it says here view source code control U on Chrome. But it's usually on the edge. Okay. Yeah. Let me try control U. Good. Now very well. Now let me go back. Let me go back. Now <laughs> this is what I, this is exactly what I, I wanted to show us. I believe you all can see my screen. And let me go back to the portal. Let me go back to the portal. We have about 10 people on this stream. And we have only just three likes. Please don't be stingy with your likes. Let's let's smash the like button, please. Now these are let me cancel this. Now these are school portal. Now look at how beautiful, how nice everything is now let me show us the code that makes this thing works i believe you all can see my screen can we see my screen can we see my screen now this is what it looks like now i want to show us the code the source code behind this this interface the source code behind this page now thank you very much i can see five likes now thank you very much now usually it, it used to be at this edge i wonder why it's not here but when i checked we can use control u to check it now let's go control u control u okay it's loading it's loading let's see okay still loading it's taking it's taking time it's not supposed to take time like this now look at it can you <laughs> maybe i should off maybe i should off this light can you see this is why language translator is required can you see all this can you inter if as a user can you interpret all this 
you are not a programmer. Can you interpret all this? On the comments, on the comment section, can we see this? Can we see the screen? Mr. Alfred, are you there? Miss Regina, are you with us? Miss Rena, okay. Can we see all this now? This is the source code. This is what makes. This is what makes that system that we can go and do anything we like. This is what makes it work. So this is source code. Now, let's come back to our class. Now, what do we call source code again? Let's come back to our class. I believe we understand. Okay, Mr. Jolas can see that. Mr. Jolas is with us now. That's great. So uh, let me close this. Now, you know, under assembler, under assembler, we said a computer program that accepts source code. We already know what source code is now. Just like name source. It is the code that makes the program works. The source or the source of a program. That is what the source code means. Now the assembler, the way the source code is now, if you are not a programmer, you cannot comprehend. Now, this assembler collects that source code, then translates it. Are we together? Translate it. Then accept the source program in assembly language, then read and translate the entire program into an equivalent program in machine language called object program or object code. Now, after it accepts it, then it reads and translates it into what we call machine language, then object code. This is what now makes us comprehend on the other side. Are we together? Now, before we proceed, we we'll talk about what source code is. Okay, where is it again? Just a moment. Now, source code now, or source program. Source code now, or source program, they are said to be source code or source program now they are said to be original computer program written by a programmer original computer program written by a programmer original computer program written by a programmer that is converted into equivalent object program written in a machine language by a complier uh you are just saying you can see it <laughs> we almost done like five minutes ago i think it's, it's the network is really bad miss reina okay original computer program written by a programmer you know then converted it is the converted part now that we, we can now see converted 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 into the equivalent object program converted into equivalent object program that is the part we, we can now see ah we can now navigate and go and click 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 and you see it's responsive there's a lot of work behind it you know converted and what does the conversion is either complier or assembler the conversion is done either by assembler or complier or Compiler. I wonder why I keep calling this a compiler. 
compiler. So that's that for source code. So let's move on. We are spending a lot of time on this thing, but I just needed to ensure that I explain it vividly to us. So now let's um, let's proceed. Okay, so we have um, interpreter. Interpreter. Now, interpreter is a program that accepts program from source language, just like we assembler does. It accepts program from source language, read, translate, and execute it by line into machine language. So assembler and compiler they are almost the same thing. Accepts also accept source program. It reads, translates, and executes it line by line into a machine language, just the same way the assembler does. We have, uh, so we have the compiler. The compiler is also a computer program that accepts a source program in one I, in one I level language. Read, translate the entire. Now this is more of a high level language. I level language. The compiler is more of a high level language. Read, translate the entire user program into an equivalent program in machine language called objects this is now object 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 program or object code object code slash object program so we have uh, that as that if you are just joining this stream and are yet to smash the like button or you are yet to subscribe to the channel do well to do that as this encourages and boosts and let youtube show us to more people that this is what is going on here so that more persons can benefit now According to complier, we can talk of COBOL. Under complier now, complier, we can talk of COBOL. We can talk of COBOL. We can talk of Fortran or Fortran. We can talk of Fortran. We can also talk of basic compliers. Basic compliers so that's that under complier now let's proceed so we also have utility software now utility software is said to be a set of commonly used program in data processing utility software basically used for using data processing data processing it comes in when we talk about data processing. Now it helps in the conversion of file. Convert file. File conversion. We have file. It helps in the copying of file, converting of file, and housekeeping. Housekeeping. So it's more of storage, file conversion, convert file, and copy file. That is more of data. That's a utility software. Now we have application software. Application software. We have application software. Now let me just use SW just like I did the other time app software now i'll talk about application software application software is a set of program designed to solve specific problem of specific nature solve specific specific solve specific problem specific am i repeating specific problem Solve specific problems. It's a set of program. Set of programs to solve specific problems. Now, problems of specific nature. Now, can we give examples of application softwares? Now, let me first break this down to us. 
this is an interactive class it's not just going to be the tip photo alone now for example application softwares now for example you want to you know everybody uses computer for different things everybody uses computer some persons uses computer for playing games some persons uses computer um, to sell in their shops and what they used to do at the cash points they used to record sales transaction some persons theirs is video editing and what they use their computer for some persons is photo editing some person like a secretary now is just to type edit you know send emails now all these things that allow them do this specific nature specific instruction that are what we call application software so now from what i have said now can we begin to cite application softwares types of application software that we know can we begin to cite them give examples list them please before we proceed I'm looking for our answers. Types of application softwares. Awesome. Yes, I'm beginning to get positive response. types of application softwares okay what's going on awesome yes mr alfred mr jewelers miss rena are you there miss regina okay application software what are the types of application softwares Okay. Awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, it's just two people. Just two. We have those two persons active. What is going on? Is that um, bookkeeping? Yes, yes. Thank you. And yeah, the applications for bookkeeping. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for that. Okay, now let's just proceed. Softwares, Mr. Alfred. Input keyboard, no. Input is not an application software. No, it's not an application software. Input is keyboard, input device. Those ones are keyboard, mouse, and the likes. Okay, we're talking about applications that helps computer to perform specific problems, to create solutions to specific problems. So let's uh, proceed, but we can still keep on submitting our answers. Let's just keep on submitting our answers while the class is on. So we have that as that. Okay, so now let's proceed. Now, before we call it a wrap tonight, let's quickly talk about let's quickly talk about computer languages computer languages languages
Now, basically, humans cannot speak or write computer language. That's true. And since computer as well cannot speak or write human language, there has to be an intermediate language. Intermediate language, yes. And this intermediate language has to devise to allow people to communicate with computers. So we have intermediate languages are known intermediate. Intermediate languages allow computer programs to direct the activity. Allows computer programmers to direct directly activities of the computer. Yeah, this is the intermediate language that helps the computer programmer to tell the computer what not and what to do. It is a unique set of rules that dictate exactly. Unique set of rules. Unique set of rules. It's a unique set of rules that dictates. Dictates. It dictates exactly, exactly, it dictates exactly how a computer programmer should direct the, the computer. Now, it is both ways. It tells the computer what to do, and it tells the computer programmers what to also do and what not to do. So it's both ways. There are some things you tell the computer to do, and there are some things you cannot tell the computer to do. So this comp this language, intermediate language, is is both end, affects both the users and the computer. Computer programmer should direct. Computer programmer should direct computer to perform a specific a specific task so we have that as that now so what are the types of this um So basically we have just two types two types we have the operands we have the operands and the operation code operation code operand and the operation code now the operation code tells the computer what to do such as instruction on arithmetics operand instructions on arith okay arithmetics while the um while the operand tells the computer that data now data evolved instructions on the use of data okay now very quickly i believe okay mr alfred i think you still do not get it i saw your response now you wrote monitor i think you you are still not getting it now the operate the we talked about application software monitor keyboard, whatever input devices, they are things you can touch, you can feel. They are output devices. And softwares, you can only see them. You can't touch them. Because of what? They are computer programs. You can only see them work. You cannot touch them. 
Mr. Alfred, are we together? So now, when we say computer softwares, we said computer softwares are programs. And what do we call programs? Programs are called series of instructions. These instructions are set rules that tells the computer that dictates that instructs that direct the computer to do this and do that. That's what the program is. And we say these software applications, software software applications, there are two different things. We are bringing them together. Software are programs. Applications too are also programs. Now, applications is more of now, okay, let me say software is instruction. Like I'm, I talked to Mr. Jolas now. Mr. Jolas, please help me get, help me get, um, help me get uh, a phone. These are two things. I told Mr. Jolas to, I have instructed us to do something and there's supposed to be a result attached to what I've told him. Now the instruction I've given to Mr. Jolas now is the software and the application is the phone now software application application is particular about giving a particular result application is the outcome just like we have instructions of accounting the same computer that can perform instructions of accounting, can perform instruction for bookkeeping, can perform instruction for video editing, can perform instruction for photo editing. And how is this possible? It's because of application software. Yes, it's because of application software. Now, do you know that WhatsApp on your phone is an application software? Okay, why is that? WhatsApp does not come with your phone automatically. Why is that a lot of a lot of apps on your phone? You have to go and download them. Why don't it come down automatically with your phone? Your phone has the features, has the capacity of using those things, just like the computer has the capacity of using all the software. But if you had not downloaded them, even though it has that performance, if you had not given your phone that instruction to use this application. Even though it has that capacity, it cannot, it can, it cannot automatically appear on your phone. So that is what application softwares are. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Alfred. So uh, let's continue. We're almost done with tonight's class. <sighs> so we are done with operant and operation. Now, hey, very quickly, in our few previous class, we've, we've spoken about data and information so i need also just give me a note like should i even make it as no there's there'll be too much of assignment okay now in the comment section what do we understand by data should i let me give it as uh as assignments i don't just want too much of assignment that's just one thing because we had assignment on gst and nobody has submitted it yet from the classes okay i think i'll give it an assignment so i will not talk about it so um I think um I think we are good for tonight. So let me just uh what's Miss Rena? I should give it an assignment or I should just leave it. What do you which one is please? Data is an instruction, no sir. <laughs> data is not an instruction, sir. <laughs> what is data? What is instruction? What is information? My God is bigger every day. Okay, let me put information here. What is information? And what is data? Example, my name. Okay, wait. Let me see what's going on here. Mr. Dula said, 
data is an instruction and information. No more assignments. <laughs> uh, it's been saying no more assignment to <laughs> Yes, because the one I even gave yesterday, nobody has submitted it. And I'm like, I was even expecting to begin to be, get responses from yesterday's uh from yesterday's slide. But no even up to now, nobody has submitted the assignment. Okay, Mr. Jela said uh, an information, okay. No more, so, okay. Data is a fact about something, okay. Let's example my name, date of birth. These are these are data. So, now what is information? Eh? Are we there? Let me just save our time. The response is not forthcoming like that. Information is a process data. Hmm. See the way we are mixing things up. No, 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 no. Don't even go there, Mr. Julas. Don't even go there. Now you are you are you are, you are using it in the wrong context now. You are using it in the wrong context. You are talking about computer here, data and information. You are taking it to the aspect of communication, Mr. Jellas. Okay, now let me just uh, let's just let me not waste much of our time. Information is raw, raw data. Uh, said raw data, raw facts, raw facts. raw facts now data is information processed when these raw facts are processed now they become data processed information and that's all yes thank you very much mr alfred yes that's it that's just it Information is raw facts. You understand? It is not proven. It's not nothing. It's just there. But data is when it has been proven, it has been tested, it has been processed, then it becomes. See? That's just it. Let, let, let us not mix things up. So, um, on this note, we call it a wrap. On this note, we call it a wrap. Okay, I think um, I think we are good to go. And in our next class, we will start with the machine language, and um, hopefully we'll be able to wrap it up. Yes, on process that. Thank you, Mr. Alfred. On processed. On processed. Data, not bad. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Jewelers. I'm sure Miss Rena is not. Uh, I said Miss Rena, Miss uh, Regina. I think she complained about the network. I'm going to reach out to her. So, Mr. Dwellers, please. We are going to have a discussion after this class, and Mr. and Miss Regina is also going to be on this call. So, um, our MT one of these classes. We are working on it. So, uh, and our classes will be strictly on premium stream. Premium stream in the sense that our MT106 classes, if you are not a member of the class, you might not be able to have access to it. So it's going to be on premium. So I want to first test run this premium service. And I think on the, the, the premium service cost about, we have the plan for 1,000 era, the plan for 3,000 era, and we have the plan for 20,000 era. I think the plan for 1,000 era is just for basic premium videos, you know. I think the 3000 is basic premium videos and um, some keynotes attached to it. 
and a full package which is 20,000 naira, which is totally premium to all our videos. And I'm going to change all our previous videos to premium to especially mathematics only. And the 20,000 naira package is the one that you do, you know, it's for it's a comprehensive package of the uh, classroom. So, Mr. Jolas, please, we are going to we are going to put that into practice. We are going to test run it with yourself and uh, Miss Regina. We are going to have that call after this class. So, thank you very much, everyone. If you are yet to submit your assignment, do well to submit your assignment. And for those of us who are yet to subscribe or yet to smash the like button, do well to do that. And there's a lot of things going on on the website, www.io.com. You can get, I think on Sunday now, most of our classes will be active. A lot of videos I'm going to be uploading, a lot of classes. This is where place you can get all the videos of your, like just look your handouts. If you, like Echo 1 to 2 now, all the classes I've arranged it is there. If you missed anyone, you think you want to just quickly go through some things, just go to the website www.tutorial.com, go to your online classes and you see everything there. So thank you very much everyone. Let's keep up the high spirit. Let's keep up with the high spirit. It's very essential to definitely pay off. It's only good work, hard work that pays off definitely. And I look forward to seeing you subsequent tutorials. Good night.